I'm sure you've had this experience. You do something that seems so embarrassing. It consumes all of your attention and you're sure that everyone's watching you, reveling in how embarrassing your faux pas was. Later, you find out that nobody had any idea you did anything unusual. In general, people aren't paying as much attention to you as they're paying attention to themselves. Nevertheless, when we're focused on something about ourselves, we often assume that everyone else is focused on it too. This is the heart of what social psychologists call the spotlight effect. One of the original studies on the spotlight effect considered the everyday embarrassing experience of wearing a Barry Manilow t-shirt. Let's back up for a second. In this study, college students were to arrive at the psychology lab in groups to fill out printed surveys in a conference room. In fact, one randomly chosen participant from each group was given an arrival time that was five minutes after everyone else's. So when that person arrived, everyone else in his or her group had already been taken to the other room and started filling out the survey. But when that person arrives, the experimenter says that he or she has to wear a t-shirt with an enormous picture of Barry Manilow's face on it. Manilow, the researchers assure us in their paper, is, quote, a musician who is not terribly popular among college students. In other words, everyone is embarrassed to wear this ridiculous t-shirt. Once they've got this ridiculous shirt on, the participant heads to the other room to meet the rest of the group. The person sits down and gets ready to take the survey when the experimenter says, you know what, on second thought, everyone else is already pretty far ahead, so you, you should actually wait outside for a moment. Uh, okay, wh what, what is this all about? Well, it's at this point that the main participant answers the critical question. How many people in that room do you think would be able to tell you who is on your t-shirt? In other words, do you think anyone in that room noticed that you were wearing a t-shirt with an enormous photograph of Barry Manilow's face on it? On average, people thought that about 50% of the people in that room noticed the shirt and would be able to identify the embarrassing visage gracing its fabric. The critical question, though, is how many people in the room actually could tell us who was on the t-shirt? Only about 25% of people in the room actually noticed the shirt. So participants vastly overestimated how many of the people in that room noticed the t-shirt. If you put yourself in their shoes, or, or t-shirts rather, the judgment makes a lot of sense. If you were made to walk into a room wearing an embarrassing t-shirt, of course you'd think everyone noticed, but the reality is not nearly what we think it is. There's one wrinkle to all of this that's worth mentioning, though. In another study, when the researchers allowed some time for the participants to get used to wearing their new pop culture apparel before heading to the other room, they weren't as susceptible to the spotlight effect. That is, they weren't as likely to think too many other people noticed the shirt. This is important because it gives us insight into why the spotlight effect happens at all. It's because you assume everyone else will notice something about you when you're more focused on it. In other words, the spotlight feels like it's on you because you're focused on something, not because everyone else is. And when researchers gave people a chance to let that spotlight wear off, they no longer were prey to this bias because they themselves were not as focused on this embarrassing t-shirt anymore. So when you catch yourself thinking that everyone else is paying attention to something you did, ask yourself, is it because I'm obsessing about it? The reality is that all those other people who you think are paying attention to you are actually concerned with their own behavior, and they think you're paying close attention to them. For more social psychology, subscribe to this YouTube channel, or go to beapeopleexpert.com and find new articles every week about psychological science.